Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking about Andy Hertzfeld and the movie Her. So first off, Andy Hertzfeld was a computer scientist who actually worked for Apple to help develop the original Macintosh computer software. He was so interested in that because he actually bought the Apple II and that's what made him want to work on the next Apple computer. He even called himself a software wizard, that's how good he was. So I want to compare this with things that happen in the movie Her, which is about Theodore who falls in love with his computer software named Samantha. Now I think that Andy Hertzfeld would dismiss this as science fiction because he's smart enough to know that even though computers are becoming smarter and they actually might act like humans, we still need human interaction. So I don't think he would think people would actually fall in love with their computer software. But there are systems that are already like Samantha, such as Siri, who is used for Apple products, and the newest one, Alexa, who is used by Amazon. They're leading us in that same direction. They can have conversations with us, they can answer our questions, they tell us when we need to go to meetings, when we need to go to the grocery store, when we need to buy flowers. So they're pretty much like Samantha, they're just not as advanced meaning that they don't have feelings like they show Samantha does. Human technology interface is becoming more normal in society, but it's still important to keep that divide so people know that they still need to interact with humans just as much as they're interacting with their software. Theodore falls for Samantha because he only interacts with her and rarely interacts with other humans, so I think that as long as people are still interacting with humans in their everyday lives, this isn't something that we need to worry about. The pros of a type of future, such as the one in her, is that it's quick and it's easy for people. They don't need to remember when they need to go to their meetings. They don't need to look at what the weather is going to be because things such as Samantha will already tell us when we need to do it, why we need to do it, what time we need to be there, what we need to do for the day. A con is that that means there's less responsibility for humans to remember these types of things. Children will have to grow up thinking that they need to live their lives and have responsibility in knowing when they need to get things done in their lives because if they have a Samantha, she will already do it for them. So there's no need for them to learn that type of responsibility. So those are my comparisons for the day. Thanks guys for tuning in.